Hey guys, so a very frequently asked question in my on my channel is how I train my horses because as I've said in my videos, I keep them in my backyard and we don't have an arena. <laughs> So, and as you know, I still do show jumping, I compete, like, often, I'm very ambitious, like, I'm a competitive rider with ambitions and, uh, you know, you should have somewhere to train your horses. So I am going to enlighten you on how I train my horses at home. So first of all, like, one of the most frequently asked questions on my channel is, are you going to build an arena at your house? The answer is no, because first of all, we don't have anywhere to build it. And secondly, it's very expensive and we don't have the money to do that. So no, we are not building an arena. So I live in the middle of nowhere, basically. Um, to the closest like training facility is like an hour, an hour and a half. Uh, so that's a long drive one way. Uh, so therefore, I train them. I very, we have a very varied training to say at least. Like we have lots of variation. Because I live in the middle of nowhere, um, I live in Norway, so the part of Norway where I live is like the part with the most rain on the west coast. So we have rain about like 300 days a year, so yeah, that's really fun. So I have to ride outdoors every day, usually in rain. Uh, since we don't have an arena, we do have fields, but when it rains all the time, can't really ride in the field because they're super wet and the horses will like just sink down on them, so can't ride in the fields. So, how I train them, you'll, you might think like, how is that even possible? Well, that's what I thought too, but you gotta be creative. So I train my horses by riding them on various bridle paths around my house. I train them by riding in the mountains, up and down the hills, and we have some like, <laughs> tracks where you can like go around and like, yeah. So what I do usually, is I ride them in the hills, like in the mountains, up and down, which is such a good exercise for them, like it's a really good workout for the horse and for yourself because you have to two point up every hill. That's kind of heavy, but you get into it after a little while. Uh, so I do lots of hill work with them. It helps building like um, the muscles in like their hind end, like because they really have to push to get up. Um, in Norway we have lots of mountains, you might not have that where you live, so yeah. But that's what I do a lot, like just walk, trot, canter up and down the hills. So that is a very good workout and you can do that even though it's raining because it doesn't get as slippery there. Um, after that I ride on the bridle paths. Um, they obviously go straight forward, you can't really make a circle on a bridle path or like on a road. Um, so I do lots of transitions like walk, trot, walk, trot, canter. That is a very good thing to do, it also helps them like push from behind and like house building like their top line because I worked them like in an outline like I was riding in an arena and stuff like that. Um, I also do lots of bending even though I can't ride on circles or in like a square arena I can bend them. I can work on right bend, left bend. You can do the same thing like you can do in an arena you just can't turn <laughs> so it's like it's not the same but you can still bend them. To both sides, like, I often work on, like, bend to the right, straight, bend to the left, straight, like, stuff like that. Uh, and you, like, obviously, like, bend their whole body, like, as if you're riding on a circle, kinda. So I do that quite a lot. I do lots of intervals, which is, like, um, at least how I do it is I trot or canter for, like, two minutes, then walk for, like, one minute, like, that's just an example. Um, and then like canter two laps and walk one lap and then canter or gallop two laps. So it's like stamina training for the horse. Uh, so it helps build their stamina and yeah. So I usually, then I usually don't work them as much. Like at least not in canter. It's not like I sit back and work them in a working canter. It's like forward canter, like light seat, just let them go. Yeah, so I did that quite a lot. Um, in addition to that, when I can ride in the fields, I do, and I ride like flat work, like school them. Uh, but sadly, we can't do that very often, so... And I obviously cannot jump at home because we don't have anywhere to jump. So I only jump my horses, like, not very often. 
Um, I've jumped since I've jumped once in November 2016. I've jumped three times in January 2017, and now we're in February. And um, yeah, I've jumped uh, three times the past four months. That's really, really good. No, but um, like the jumping is obviously a very important part when you're a show jumper. But when you have a solid foundation at home, it comes very naturally, at least that's how it's been for me because I've been very successful the past show season and we've jumped very rarely, like mostly just at shows and a few lessons here and there. But obviously that comes with experience, like when you know your horse, but the, like, the foundation for jumping is flat work and I can work at that at home, I can work at transition, I can make them rideable. I can work on extending, collecting, I can work on bending, straightness, I can work on stamina, I can work them in hills. Um, it might not sound ideal for you and of course it might not be but I've been successful doing that and my horses are very fit and we get lots of variation like I ride in like in the forest, I ride on like asphalt like to get to some of the places. I don't, I never like trot and canter on the asphalt but I have to go there to get to like other places so that's like good for strengthening their joints and tendons of uh, like yeah interval for stamina transitions I work them in an outline like you can you can do a lot of stuff without an arena really like you really can uh, of course I wish I did have one I wish I could have more lessons but that's just how it is for me with my where I live and my financial situation I can't afford to board them at a barn and I at least I can't afford it because it's like two hours away, so how would I get there every day? Um, so yeah, because a lot of people seem to think that you oh, you really need somewhere to ride, like an arena field or something, and yeah, you should, but you can make it work without, like, just look at me. I've been successful the past show season, my horses are fit, they're healthy, we're having lots of fun, they never get sick of the arena, I feel like they are even more, like, engaged and, like, interested in jumping when we jump because they do it so rarely so they like try much harder because I keep them fit on the ground so like they are fit and jumping is like the easiest part of the jumping is the actual jumping so yeah that is how I work my horses at home not completely ideal but it works for us um, and yeah you just gotta get creative where with where you live like there's a lot of different landscapes in the different parts of the world we have lots of mountains and forests and stuff here. You might not have that where you live, but you just need to find like something you can do with what you have. Like, just figure a way to like work your horse well with where you live and like your climate and your landscape and everything. Um, variation is key, and you can do more than you think with bridle paths, like just small roads, hills, and stuff like that. Like. You can do more than you first, like when you think about that you're like, oh, hacking, like trail riding. You can do much more than that, for sure. At least that's what I've done. So, yeah, that is how I train my horses without an arena and without anything. Um, and it works for me, so I guess it can work for you as well. So I'm not planning on building an arena. I don't have an arena. The reason I don't have lessons very often is because one, it's very far away, two, it's very expensive. I of course wish I had an arena and not, that I could take lessons more often, I really do, but that's just not realistic for me at the moment, um, and yeah, of course, keep in mind, like, I feel like I'm talking about myself like I'm really good, but that's not what I mean, but like, um, I have experience, like, I've ridden for a long time, I've had a bunch of lessons in my life, I know my horse as well, I've shown a lot, so it might not be as ideal for you if you're, like, less experienced, like, that you should have lessons often, like, more often. Uh, but still, you can make it work either way. Like, I had my horses at home before, I had lots of lessons as well. Um, and I was not very successful, but you know, you learn to ride like riding is riding, regardless of where you ride or what kind of horse you ride on. So, yeah. So I hope you guys learned something new from this video and uh, enjoyed watching it if you watched it. So, yeah. See you guys in my next video. Bye! <laughs>